Bode has just launched their all new Avante Bar 5500 DA and I've been getting so many comments from you people asking me to unbox and make a video on this product. This is a festive period, right? A lot of people usually keep looking to buy home theater systems and stuff like that and you people came to the right video. So this one actually has very interesting features. First of all, it's a 5.1.2 channel Dolby Atmos home theater system. Comes with a dedicated subwoofer and also wireless rear satellite speakers as well. Totally, it can produce around 500 watts of RMS out. I'm pretty excited to unbox and show it to you people in this video. Let's quickly get started. Our brand new Bose Avante Bar 5500DA came in this sort of box packaging. It's a massive packaging and there was no way I could do the unboxing alone so called in my dad for some help. Anyways, you have the boat branding over here and lots of features mentioned. First thing is it's a very powerful home theater system, can produce around 500 watts of total RMS output and has Dolby Atmos support as well. It has 5.1.2 channel speaker setup so that means you're getting one dedicated subwoofer and two rear satellite speakers as well guys that too they are wireless plus multi-platform compatible has bluetooth support hdmi earc support is there optical aux usb plenty of options so as soon as you open it you get some metal brackets and clamps these are for wall mounting your soundbar system and along with that you're also getting some insulation screws two triple a batteries are there 3.5 mm to rca cable is included and hey you're also getting a free hdmi cable included with your main cord some paperwork as well just make sure to read that and this one is your soundbar's remote control decent looking remote plenty of options eq settings as well we'll get back to this in a moment and lastly this is the soundbar we've been waiting for boats all new avante bar 5500da and my god look at this it's actually quite big in size almost three feet in length and looks quite premium for the price point now obviously this is like a premium segment audio product from boat right this was expected you have the boat branding over here and says dolby atmos on the soundbar keeping the soundbar aside let me also quickly show you the subwoofer so this is that dedicated wired subwoofer that you get included in the package it's a passive subwoofer that means you simply need to connect a cable from the subwoofer to the soundbar and you will be set these are your satellites speakers i've told you right they are wireless satellite rear speakers to give you a true surround sound experience and have a beautiful design here also look at them have a glossy black paint job very minimum cables as well you simply need to connect each of them with this cable over here and plug in the power adapter provided to power on the surround speakers they automatically sync and connect with the setup what i'll do is i'll quickly set them up connect it to my tv use it for some time and then be right back to continue this video so guys setup is all done and I'm back to continue the video. I've been using the soundbar at my place for quite some time and I'm pretty sure you people have lots of questions right. How is the subwoofer performance? How is the Dolby Atmos FX satellite surround speakers performance? All of that you'll get to know in this video. It's gonna be like a very informative session. So make sure to watch this video till the end and do not skip any part. First of all let me tell you about the setup part. Very easy to set up and connect it with your TV. Soundbar has like multiple connectivity options. First of all you're getting Bluetooth 5.3 support, Oxin is there, optical in support is available, USB option is also available and yes HDMI support with EARC is there because obviously it supports Dolby Atmos right and to get the best possible audio experience I would highly recommend you to connect it with your TV via HDMI only. Simply connect like a HDMI cable from the soundbar to your TV in the EARC port and plug in your main Scott port to the soundbar and that's it you're done with the soundbar installation. Coming to the subwoofer, it's a wired passive subwoofer and you simply need to connect the subwoofer cable to the soundbar sub out port and that's it you'll be done with your subwoofer part as well all that is left is to connect your rear satellite speakers remember I've told you these are wireless satellite speakers so there is no connection from the satellite speakers to the soundbar guys everything is wireless you simply need to connect each of the satellite speakers with the integrated cable over here and simply connect the power adapter to the main satellite unit and that's it they automatically sync and pair with the main soundbar bar unit and you're all good to enjoy cinematic experience at your home. Now what I'll do is I'll give you like a closer look at the soundbar unit and talk about the design and build quality part. Both Avante Bar is a beautiful looking soundbar guys. It comes in this premium black finishing and actually has like a two-tone finish. Entire soundbar is wrapped in a premium metal grille at the top and front area and at the back side you have a glossy black finishing. Definitely gives you a premium sort of look and goes well with my TV cabinet design as well guys. On the front area you have a metallic boat logo on the left profile and Dolby Atmos logo on the right side. And not to miss out you're also getting a clean white LED status display on the front side. It shows you 
lot of information like the current mode that you're using the soundbar in for example look over here it says EARC because that is how we've connected it to the TV right it also shows you other information like volume up and down and things like that and good thing is you can even turn off the display if you want to hide it so that is definitely a plus point and here's how the top area looks like you actually have some media control buttons over here that too finished in a nice rubberized sort of texture this one is your power button volume down volume up is available and lastly input source select quality of the buttons is nice feel tactile and clicky let me just quickly show you all the available IO connectivity ports on this soundbar. First one is your sub out. This is where you'll be connecting your subwoofer in a wired mode, followed by a digital optical in is available. 3.5mm line in is there. USB option is there to connect some pen drives. And last one is your HDMI port that even supports EARC as well. Keeping the soundbar aside, let me also quickly show you the subwoofer. It's a wired subwoofer and here's how the Avante Bar 5500DA subwoofer looks like. Beautiful looking design, right? Even this has like a nice two-tone sort of finishing and build quality of the product is also very good. Entire enclosure is made of MDF material and feels quite solid and durable. The front panel though, I believe it's made of polycarbonate but has a beautiful boat logo in a glossy black finish. To the side, you can actually observe the woofer driver unit. It's a 6.5 inch woofer driver driver and at the back side you even have a tuned bass reflex port available and you have a single cable that directly goes to the soundbar that's it complete overview on the subwoofer and here's how the satellite speakers look like i've told you right these are wireless satellite speaker units and one of them is active and the other one is a passive beautiful looking design cylindrical sort of shape and even these have a similar soundbar like design two-tone finishing i would say entirely covered in a metal grill on the front and the sides at the top you have a matte black sort of finishing and wait a second i haven't told you about the driver configuration right this is a 5.1.2 channel dolby atmos home theater system and features totally eight drivers on board the soundbar alone has like five drivers you're getting three 2.5 inch drivers on the front profile and also has two two inch drivers placed at the top side so these are basically top firing speakers to give you that realistic dolby atmos experience now keeping the soundbar aside and moving on to the subwoofer i've told you right this one features a large 6.5 inch woofer driver unit to the left side with the tuned bass reflex port available at the back and lastly in the satellite speakers they feature a unique oval driver one in each of them and the size is somewhere around 52 by 75 mm so totally combined all of these eight drivers produce around 500 watts of total rms output and yes dolby atmos support is also there so before i say anything about the audio quality or how is the performance right let me quickly open up youtube play some videos over here just have a look at them and then i'll be back and share my experience and feedback on the sound quality. gaming PC build videos on the channel. Almost every week you get to see something interesting. Lately, I've been getting a lot of comments from you people, audience, asking like, Vimal, why can you make like a separate video, more like a tutorial, on what exactly to do after building a PC? Now that is a very interesting question. I'll have to hand it over to you. You guys heard the sound, right? What do you think? Share your thoughts in the comment section down below. As I've told you, both Savante Bar 5500DA is a 5.1.2 channel Dolby Atmos home theater system. And I've watched variety of content in the last couple of days. I've watched lots of music videos on YouTube, 4K movies, TV shows on Netflix and Prime Video, and was actually quite impressed with the audio quality over here. Boat has definitely used premium quality drivers in their soundbar and definitely delivered their signature level sound. No, I'm not 
not exaggerating. You people heard the sound, right? Audio quality was very good for this price point. Mids were crisp and clear. All the dialogues were audible, and vocal clarity was also great. Main thing is sound separation and sound stage guys. That was like pretty wide, I would say. And no matter what sort of content you're watching, either it be movies or even TV shows, web series on Netflix or Prime Video, right? It was producing excellent amount of detail. Coming to the high frequency response, high frequency response was nice. It was producing smooth treble with minimum harshness and fine. Finally, talking about the bass, bass was also really good. Initially, I was not expecting this, but that 6.5 inch woofer driver was producing amazing bass. The whole frequency response range is from 45 hertz to 20 kilohertz, and subwoofer was producing really good low frequency response, guys. I mean, especially when you're watching movies and that to action scenes where there's a lot of gun firing sounds or maybe like bomb blasts, right? It was producing thumping bass, solid kick in the bass was there, and you'll definitely have a great cinematic feel at your home. Overall audio quality and audio performance was really good for this price point. And talking about the audio output, as I've told you, it's got around like 500 watts of total RMS output and it is more than enough for home purpose, guys. I believe you will never go beyond 20 volume level on the soundbar. Otherwise, I'm pretty sure your neighbors are gonna start complaining. Anyways, talking about the audio distortion, distortion also very minimum, even up to 80-85% volume level. Keeping that aside, I know you people have questions about Dolby at experience right so let me tell you about that there are plenty of soundbar models available in the market around the similar price point but most of them do not actually have like top firing speakers which is quite essential for Dolby Atmos realistic experience guys but that is not the case over here Avante Bar 5500DA has real top firing speakers two drivers are there two inch ones and these produce sound that will hit the ceiling and give you like a realistic surround sound experience they basically create like phantom ceiling speakers to give you that real surround sound experience Plus added to that you're also getting like surround speakers, rare wireless satellite speakers are there right. So totally combined they'll give you like a realistic 3D surround sound experience. Especially when you're watching movies like Mission Impossible or maybe like you know Jurassic Park where there are helicopter shots, helicopter is roaming like 360 degrees all around you. You can definitely feel that effect happening in this 5.1.2 channel home theater system from board. So overall I had like a really good cinematic experience while I was testing out this you know soundbar at my place for the last couple of days. Well, that's it guys, our video on Bose all new Avante Bar 5500D. This is one of the best sounding and performing Dolby Atmos 5.1.2 channel home theater system you can get around 25,000 rupees. You're getting a powerful subwoofer, wireless satellite speakers, can produce around 500 watts of powerful sound with the Dolby Atmos support and has totally 8 driver units. And best part is it's also wireless, you're getting Bluetooth connectivity option as well. What do you people think? Share your thoughts in the comment section down below. I'll leave link for the product in the description box and as I've told you this thing is available on Amazon, Flipkart and costs around like 24,999 rupees. If you all enjoyed watching this video and got full information about the product make sure to smash that like button and subscribe to my channel for more such awesome videos and I'll see you all in my next one.